Hey guys, welcome back. It's Brother in Christ Weston. Thanks for joining me today. So today's article comes out of Now the End Begins. Let's get into it. Okay, so um, I'm in a different spot. Obviously got some more lighting, so this is good. Uh, I'll be looking this way. This is where my laptop is. Um, there's something very interesting that I've seen for probably the past couple years. It was a um, a prophecy, some some like Jewish prophecy, not biblical one, but a Jewish one. Uh, and it may come out of the Talmud. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm sure we'll, figure, we'll see it here in this article. But it's about Benjamin Netanyahu being the last prime minister of Israel, and that's when the Antichrist will come. Uh, and so let's read. It says, exit poll shows Benjamin Netanyahu winning re-election as prime minister of Israel. Will Rabbi Menachem uh, Shanirson's end-time prophecy actually happen? So this was dated yesterday. Today's the second, so yesterday was first. Let's read. Um... <laughs> my son singing a song over here. Um, it says here, former prime minister and Likud leader Benjamin Netanyahu is set to become Israel's next prime minister according to Tuesday's night, Tuesday night exit polls. Well, 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 the news coming out of Israel right now shows Netanyahu with 61 seat block he needs and all he has to do to win is fend off a last minute surge from the Arab ballot party, which BB should be able to do. If he does win with all things we've been discussing on the podcast lately, I guess their own podcast, um, about 2023, you should be a wild ride indeed. Count me in, up and out of here. Here are some fun facts. Five in the Bible is the number of death and judgment. Netanyahu would be the five-time prime minister based on four-year term. He has had four of them. Right now, it is the year 5783 on the Hebrew calendar. Add them up, and when you get five. The election today is uh, election number five in the past four years. That's right. They've this is It's been crazy for them. <sighs> Something also unprecedented. Five by five is also the dimensions of the brazen labor for the sacrifice in the temple there could be something there to that i believe that numbers are very important in the bible I believe that god when he speaks he also speaks in numbers um it's very and per per like old jewish pictography a pictograph or pictography um and the way that works and it's super important that could be nothing but it when you see numbers you see ages things like that when he speaks in numbers certain names years that have been planned out those are on purpose they're not just random um it says here uh, Isaiah 28, 14, Where, wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, the rule of this people which is in Jerusalem, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell, and we are at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall come not come to us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have hid ourselves. Isaiah 28, 14, and 15. If we believe the prophets, which we most certainly do, then you already know that Israel has no king over them at the time of the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Instead, they have a bunch of secular religious people running the country. Isaiah calls them scornful men because they do not honor God or their own fathers. See Jeremiah 22 verses 1 through 10. Remember the article from the other day where we showed you prophecy of Rabbi Menachem Shernirson, uh, the Mashiach Rabbi, a Rabbi, who prophesied before his death that Benjamin Netanyahu, this is the guy, would be in power at the start of the messianic age. If Netanyahu wins, this just might be the most incredible coincidence in modern era. Here's to the blessed hope hoping. Um, this is from the Jerusalem Post in the in the same article. It says, uh, in an update to the exit polls, the Arab ballot party ballot was said to be close to crossing the threshold. If that happens, Netanyahu's block will drop from 60 seats, one short of a coalition majority. Likud sent an urgent letter to police commissioner on Tuesday night demanding that the allegations of voter fraud in the Arab sector be immediately investigated. According to the polls, Netanyahu's bloc, which includes Likud, Religious Zionist Party, or RZP, United Torah Judaism, UTJ, and Shas, crossed the 61-seat threshold and will be able to form the next coalition. In some of the polls, his bloc reached 62 seats. What do the exit polls say? Netanyahu Likud's party is expected... Uh, to receive 30 seats according to the channel 12 and 31, channel 12 and 31 seats according to channel 13, while Lapid Yish Atid party is expected to get 24 seats according to the both polls. Religious Zionist party led by Itamar or Itamar bin Gavir or Gavir uh, and Bezalel Sham Shamotrek, Shamotrek saw a dramatic rise in contrast to the previous years of both channels reporting 14 seats. Defense Minister Benny Gantz, National Unis, uh, United Party is expected to get 11 seats, Channel 12, and Channel 12 seats, Channel 12, or from Channel 12, 12 seats from Channel 13, while Yisrael Betenu ben gets four seats. Okay, some of these people I've seen here, Benny Gantz used to run it, and then um, within the four years, and then he gave that up. 
Um, or did he? I'm not, I forgot. Anyways, um, I say all that because um, I have seen this uh, going on for some quite some time. And I don't know if there's something to it. It's not necessarily like a, a biblical prophecy. Um, but that there is, if it is, it's going to be hidden here in a way that we just don't understand. Which I don't understand per, per, um, per Isaiah and Jeremiah. Um, so what is it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys because I saw and I've seen just a blast of news about Benjamin Netanyahu and, the, and these elections. And so for that, it made me think of this rabbi's uh, prophecy that he put out before his death. And I think it's really interesting. And I think there's something there, um, not because things can't be confirmed outside of the Bible, but I think that the Bible will tell us all these things that we see here. I just don't know how to make heads or tails of that in Isaiah. Maybe somebody who's more... May more versed in scripture like that via um old testament right could read maybe read through the lines or read what that says uh but yeah anyways guys that's the video let me know what y'all think about that uh thinking about um what happens here what happens next and uh and i wonder what people are going to say if he wins and uh, you know they've been multiple talks about that there are multiple rabbis who are in talks with the messiah that there's a messiah, there's a messiah in every single age i don't know if i believe that at all actually um but that they're in talks with a uh, with the messiah makes sense that if there's somebody that they think that is the messiah which is obviously not um it would be antichrist or the messiah their messiah that's going to lead them into the messianic age to the to being saved fully um and bring in the kingdom restore israel all that then who they're talking to is very real it's a real person he has to be alive he has to be alive somewhere um and that he's either grown to full age or something like that before um he is uh inhabited with satan and becomes the antichrist right and so uh and if that that happens then how close are we so anyways guys that's the video let me know what y'all think and i'll see you in the next one